Alrighty guys, it's Amit and welcome back to DevDreamer. So guys, in this lesson then, we're taking a look at the audio and video tags in HTML. Now these are actually HTML5 tags, um, and in this lesson, we're going to be looking at both of them in detail, and we'll look at some of the attributes that can be used on them also. So then let's begin with the audio tag. So the way that we create the audio tag is simply by doing the word audio, so we have opening and closing audio tags, and you'll see here that brackets has given us a suggested attribute of source, and this is basically where we place the audio file source. So here I'm just going to say devdreamermusic.mp3, and the reason we have access to this is because this is actually in our HTML folder, so let me just show you that. So in here, in our HTML lessons folder, we have devdreamermusic.mp3, okay, and it's the same with the video as well. Okay, so let's just put this back up here. Okay, so now we have included our source, but if you look at the browser, we still don't see anything. We can refresh and we still don't see anything here. And the reason for that is because the audio tag, just like the video tag as well, requires something called controls. So this is an attribute here of controls. So we just do controls. Okay, perfect. And now we can see we have some controls for our player. So we can click play and it works. We can actually do the volume up and down. And at the end here, we also have a download button. So if we click on this, it actually downloads this to our machine. Now let's say we actually didn't want this on here. How do we remove this? Well, we can simply add another attribute here of the following. We can say controls and then list with a capital L equals in speech marks, no download. And now as you can see, that download button has now gone. Now there are some other attributes we can add on this as well. We can say, um, we can say autoplay. So that of course, when the browser reloads, this will play automatically. Okay, um, and we can also decide to loop this as well, so that when the audio finishes, it actually loops back and starts again. Let's refresh, and now let's just move this to the end. You see it ends, and then it loops back and plays again. Okay, um, another attribute we can add on here is muted. So of course, by default, this is unmuted, so that we can actually listen to it. But we can add the attribute of muted here, Save, refresh, and now you can see that it is muted by default. But of course, we can come in here and just increase the volume, okay? So then, they're the basic uh, attributes you can have on audio. As you can see, you can do quite a lot of things. Let's now take a look at a different way to include the source. So let me remove the source from here, okay? And then in here, just refresh this. Okay, of course this is gone now because there's no source. Inside our audio tag now, we can specify another tag called source, like this. And then this basically is a self-enclosing tag. There's no uh, closing source tag here. But we can give this an attribute of src source. And then here we can say devdreammusic.mp3. Now you might say, well, what's the point of this? Let's just save and reload. You can see here it is again, okay? You might say, well, what's the point of this? Well, we might have more than one file type for our audio file. So we could have a MP3 file. Okay, so here we'll specify a type of audio forward slash MPEG. And then we can copy this. And let's paste this in here and do it again. So we might have three different versions of our audio file. So this could be a WAV. This can be a OGG, and then we just change them here. The type of this is WAV, type of this is OGG. Okay, so the reason why we would actually want to use this here is because, let's say for example, the browser, for whatever reason, is unable to load our MP3 file. It will then go through the list and try and reload the next one. So then it will try and reload the WAV file, and then we'll try and reload this OGG file if it couldn't find this WAV file here. Okay, that's basically why we would want to specify our audio source in a different way, in this way, as opposed to doing source in our opening audio tag here. Of course, if you don't have any other files, then you can simply just put source in your opening uh, tag here as an attribute. Okay, so guys, that is the audio tag. Let's now move on to the video tag. Let's just include a label up here. Let's just say um, H3, and just say the audio tag. Okay, and then let's just copy this down here, and then let's say the video tag. Okay, so now then, how do we create the video tag? Um, first, let's just comment. Um, let's just comment this out. Okay, so the way that we create the video tag is very similar. We just do the word video. Okay, so we have an opening and closing video tag, and again in here we can specify the source. So again, let's just go for this time. DD intro.mp4, 
we have the same situation here. Although we've included this, we don't see anything in our browser. And that's because the video tag requires the source of controls. Save and reload. And hmm, that still hasn't worked. And the reason it hasn't worked is because with the video tag, we need to specify something else. The video tag requires a width and height, and at the very least, a width. So in here, let's say width, and let's just set this equal to uh, 500 pixels. Okay, and now as you can see, we now have our controls. Okay, and we can click on this, and the video plays. Now, of course, here we can specify the um, similar attributes of autoplay. And it auto plays. Um, we can say loop. And again, when it ends, it will loop through and play again. Like so. Okay. And of course, we can do muted as well. Fresh. And it is muted. Now, along with these, we can also specify a thumbnail for our video so that whilst it's loading or whilst it hasn't been played, we can actually show a thumbnail here instead. And the way that we do that is by using the attribute of poster. So we can say poster, and I'm going to set this equal to html.png, which is just an image within our folder. So now, if we get rid of the um, autoplay here, because we don't want this to autoplay, and let's now get rid of the mutage as well, and hit save, and now refresh. And now we can see that we have our image. Now here we can see that the image is actually cut off and that's because we probably just need to increase the height of this player here. So here I'm gonna say height equals 400 pixels. Uh, okay, let's go for maybe 350 pixels. Let's try that out. Okay, perfect. And now you can see, we can see the whole image. And now when we press play, it plays the video as normal. Again, guys, you can actually specify other types of files here. So we can remove the source from our open tag here and we can specify a source tag like this with SRC and then here we can say a file and again we would say type this time it will be video so if you remember it was audio slash and then the audio file this time it will be video slash mp4 and then we can do another one here and we can specify a different file type this will be OGG like so. And of course, again, the same thing applies here. So if the browser can't load the MP4 file, then it will try and load the other file here. Okay. So guys, that is the audio tag and the video tag in HTML. In the next lesson, we're going to be taking a look at HTML5 semantic markup. It's going to be super cool. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.